everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, another Ameritron AL811H. So we do the BIOS mod, ground the grid, someone changed grid loading resistor with 4 in parallel. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to pull those out, ground the grids, like I said. Got discharge tubes, change the SO239s because they're not making a good connection with the PL259. Clean the rotor switches with the oxid gold and uh, check everything else over. Okay, so I'll be back. And uh, let's see, also the metal oxide variistors are in there, so I'll pull those out. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. One of the meter lamps was out, it was the old type of bulb, so I put LEDs in to the bias modification. The meter protection diode is okay. These leads for the connection from the band switch to the board were like super long, so I, I clipped them all flush with the board. Took the assembly out, you've seen me do that before. The gas discharge tubes in, grounded the grids directly to the metal. So, cleaning the rotor switches with deoxic gold, I changed the SO239 connectors over to the Teflon type. I always have to change that resistor too, it's a series dropping resistor for the LEDs when you put those in. Straps are in good condition, had the wrong fuses in it, had 20 amp fuses, that's a big no, no, no. So this takes, 12, when it's wired for 120, which is all that's needed, requires 12 amp fast blow fuses. When it's wired for 220, 8 amp fast blow fuses. So you can do damage to the transformer big time if you have a short fuses won't pop fast enough. Okay? I also removed the metal oxide variistors down there. And this thing is good to go. Also resecured the output safety choke. Don't forget about that. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. 203-892 4119, they got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, awesome company, and the wire started to come unravel, unraveled at the top of the plate choke, so I secured it with some super glue. Okay, so all set. Thanks for watching. 73.